Hi friends, in this session we will discuss how to find minimum and maximum values of a given binary search tree. First of all, let's understand what is binary search tree, how data is organized within a binary search tree. So here is an example of binary search tree. In a binary search tree on any given node, let's take 40, the root node. All its left subtree node values must be less than or equal to its parent node value. So in this case, 34, 30, 38, 4, 32 or less than its parent node value 40. On same way, on any given node, all its right subtree node values must be greater than its parent node value. So 66, 60, 88, 86 are greater than its parent node value 40. This is applicable for any node you take in the tree. For example, if we take 34, all its subtree node values are less than 34. They are 34, 32 which are less than 34. Similarly, on right node values are greater than its parent node, 38 is greater than 34. So this is how the data is organized within a binary search tree. Now how to find minimum and maximum values of a binary search tree? Since data is organized in a kind of sorted order, it is easy to find minimum and maximum values. Let's see how to find a minimum value. So to identify a minimum value, always what we need to do, traverse to left nodes only until you reach the node left reference is null. So here 40 is a root node. We will traverse to left node, which is 34. And again, we'll traverse to its left node, which is 30. Again, we'll traverse to its left node, which is 4. And to traverse next left node, there is no left node exists. It's null. So this is going to be our minimum value, which is 4. Similarly, to identify a max value in a binary search tree, we will keep traversing to right left uh, right node of uh, of any given node till the right node is null so here from 40 its right node is 66 we'll traverse to 66 then again we'll continue traversing to its rightmost node which is 88 then again we want to continue traversing to right node but it does not exist, its right node reference is null. So our max value is 88. So this is how we can find min and maximum values of a binary search tree. Now let's write code. I have already created a class called BST min max values. Let's create another class called node. int data to keep track of node data value we will define two node references left and right we will have a simple constructor to initialize node which takes an integer value called temp and assign this value to data reference Let's create a method find min value which returns an integer. Before this, we'll define one private variable, a node which is a root. The root node reference will be stored 
within this reference. So now, when we call find min value, root will be our reference reference node to start with. So here we'll copy root value because we want to traverse through left nodes only. So node temp equal to root we copied. Now what we do we'll use while loop until temp dot left is not null. So inside loop what we do every iteration we assign temp reference with temp dot left. So once that the node left node reference is null it will exist the while loop that is when we'll return the node value which is minimum value in this case return temp dot data so this is a minimum value similarly we'll write a method to find max value and find max value Again, we'll take a temp value to copy reference of root. We'll use while loop. The exit condition here is the loop will continue running as long as its right node reference is not null. TMP dot right is not equal to null. It will continue running inside the while loop every iteration we assign temp equal to tmp dot write once it exit out of this loop return temp dot data So which gives maximum value so now i'll write a simple method to insert data which returns nothing insert and user will send int data so now what we do if root double equal to null will create a node and assign to root so root equal to new node and pass the value data in any other case we will use recursion to construct the binary search tree so for this i'll write one uh, simple private method which returns node insert node and for this the input is going to be a node and data so here the data is int of type all we need to do here is identify a node where we can insert a new node so first I'll define one temp node. I'll use this temp node for uh, recursion purpose. Now if data is less than or equal to current node data that we send as part of this method and if its left node is null node dot left double equal to null will insert here because the condition is less than or equal to given node data and if its left node is null we can create a node and attach to the current node left node so node dot left equal to new node and data and return node dot left if 
the given node left node is not null then store it in temp node that is going to be used for recursion purpose will send to the insert node again temp node equal to node dot left so similarly if data is not less than or equals to node data that is greater than the node data that means it is eligible for inserting on right side of it so else then again check if given nodes right reference is null will insert to its right reference node dot right double equal to null will create a new node and assign to right reference and will return the newly created node if the given node right reference is not null we'll store this in temp value and at the end we'll use recursion to perform same operations on the temp node we stored return insert node that's temp node and data so this is how we insert data so now let's write a simple main method to test this code public static void main create a reference to this class bst min max values create an object bst now insert a few values bst dot insert let's say 45 and insert more values will copy and modify 89 234 6 12 now find out min and maximum values from this binary search tree system dot out dot println min value bst dot find min value similarly max value let's run and see the result hmm my bad i forgot to put semicolon here now let's run once again i made a mistake somewhere let me figure out huh. i forgot to call insert node method here that's why it is always giving min and max values as a root node value so insert node and pass root as a reference and data now run once again hope this time we will get a result yeah so out of all these things minimum value is 6 that's what we got here maximum value is 234 that's what we got here thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel